Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Making the Album. So this is the little series where in every episode I'm going to show you how I multi-track a song and then after 13 episodes and 13 songs I'm going to release an album containing those songs at the end. So definitely stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and also you can follow me on Spotify right now. My artist name is Coat Seller, all one word and that's where I'm going to release the album. I'll also release it on Bandcamp and all that other stuff but I'll let you know on the channel when that's ready. Alright, in this episode I'm recording a song called called Dover, which is kind of a slower, more of a ballad. And what's unique about this song compared to the others is that the tempo will change in the chorus. So I'm going to experiment with that in Ableton Live to do dynamic tempo changes. So let's just dive right in. All right, as per usual, I'm going to use this little makeshift drum kit I have here with a tom, which acts as a kick, a snare, and this trusty hi-hat. So let's record the kick. Just going to quantize that real quick, and then we're going to loop it over. So the reason I always start with drums is that I like to have more of an organic, sort of almost like a backing band type of vibe when I'm recording vocals and guitars. And I find it much more intuitive that way rather than listening to a metronome. All right, let's slide this over for the snare. And I'm also gonna borrow some of this cloth to dampen the snare drum a little bit. Now let's also engage the snare and record one track that way. Let's move over to the hi-hat. And this is what we have so far. Obviously I need to EQ it a bit more, but this is a good reference point for now. All right, so let's lay down the guitar. I've got my Seagull S6 again through the Octava MK12. I'm gonna record the intro for now. All right, next I'm gonna double up those guitar parts uh, using a pick this time just to keep the flavor a little different. All right, let's lay down some bass. I got my P bass here. I'm running it directly to my interface, no amp simulation or anything like that. Just have a bit of auto filter, uh, the Ableton plugin with a Prodigy 12 dB style filter, just to remove some of the high end. All right, it's time to record some vocals. I'm going to duplicate those vocals now. going to duplicate the chorus one more time. Just a sunny weather. 
I'm just gonna record a little shaker pattern for the chorus here. I'm gonna record a little tambourine pot for the chorus as well, brother. All right, let's record a little kashishi pattern, brother. Was it love? Or was it just a sunny weather? Was it love? All right, brother. Finally, we can do the melodrum, brother. All right, I've loaded up uh, the Melotron V from Arturia with a standard flute patch. So I'm just going to record a little melody for the intro here. All right, I've loaded up a Yuhi Repro 5 plugin, which is an emulation of the Prophet 5 and I've loaded up this preset here, which is sort of like an electric piano. Another instance of Repro 5, and this time I've loaded up a pad sound which I tweaked a little bit. Sounds absolutely lovely. So let's add that to the chorus. So one thing I do with all these heavy soft synths is that I freeze the track as soon as I'm happy with the MIDI to free up some resources because they're pretty intense. Dun, dun, dun. All right, let's lay down some electric guitar. So again, I'll have my Fender Jaguar here running straight into my interface and then through the Native Instruments Guitar Rig 5 with a, just a simple country citrus preset. I've turned off all the effects. But then I've added some Valhalla Room and Valhalla Delay Tape Echo emulation. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to spend some more time off camera. I'm kind of finalizing the piece and I'll play a little preview of it at the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next one and stay tuned for the album release, which should be coming up soon as soon as we're done with these episodes. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next.